Hey guys, it's Al from Altruistic Channel, and I'm just sitting here waiting for the big hurricane uh, that's a coming uh, to hit. And I think I, I, the first way of band, of, if you will, of the rain has arrived. So I decided that I would post a couple little things on YouTube to kill the time. Um, I'm hoping that we don't lose power, but I wanted to get everything out beforehand. And it kind of dawned on me, you know, not that I'm as, as expecting anything bad, but that I probably should get some things out that I've always wanted to say. And so one of the things that I realized I hadn't done yet was to kind of give my pitch of to what my company was about. So Altruistic Channel, as many of you know, I've been I've been working on for about a year and a half now. And its original concept was more driven towards what my needs were and as, as, as a consulting firm. And I found it to be very self-indulgent and boring. And I didn't want to spend the next, you know, 10, 15 years of my life doing something I didn't want to do. So I decided to kind of go in deep and find my path, uh, to find what it was that my path would be. And I realized that I really wanted to deal with um, kind of changing the way the perception, the perception process is uh, looked at. I really think that we need to understand that our perception is subjective because it's based on our experience versus our experience plus our senses. And so that's very limiting because if you have a negative one time experience with someone who's similar to something, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's so about you that it's not really always in, in uh, truth. It's not built in truth. And so I wanted to do something special with that and kind of showcase to everybody that, you know, it's not that you were wrong about your opinions because everybody's allowed to have their opinions. Um, but when it comes to like bigotry and uh, prejudice and all of uh, bias and all of those things, you want to make sure that you kind of check yourself. Um, and that's on the negative side of perception. And so I wanted to train people on what it would be like to go back and look at it, deal with it, and then not say you're wrong, but what do we do with it now? And I found it to be very uh, empowering of, of a platform. And specifically, I was geared towards three demographics. One was the uh, mid-level to upper middle uh, management that were struggling with like some sort of um, shakeup or some sort of uh, identity crisis where the culture needed to change and whatnot. Um, the second one would be the government agencies because I find that they typically yearly are always in need of some sort of sensitivity training for some person that's not acting like they should. Um, on behalf of them. And then the third one is going to be specifically geared towards um, the um, the individual uh, schools, like private schools, because the government had the other schools, but privatized schools, charter schools, and stuff like that, because my platform specifically deals with uh, social and education reform. And the reasoning is because my, pl my hybrid, if you will, model that I ended up coming up with for altruistic channels encompasses several different key factors. One is it incorporates um, the training of these three uh, target audiences, and it targets them um, in the sense that it helps them build within what they need to get accomplished. I still deliver those needs, but I just use a lot of examples that are altruistic and more in line with charity and with, with what I'm, my platform is. And in the end, the platform is this. I believe in the... The, that we need to reform education and the social uh, policies on the way that we look and deal with the special needs community. And I'm a big, firm believer in the fact that we are using the wrong perception. <laughs> we have the wrong perception on these wonderful people. And just to give you an example, most of you, are, I think, already know this, but did you know that the gifted and talented, like moi, is actually considered special needs? And we actually are under the same category as those with mental retardation, um, autism, uh, like all these different things. And what bothers me about it is this one size fits all type of educational system that we have going right now in the sense that we can't even um, individualize the lesson plans. Look, there's no way that you're ever going to convince someone like me that a gifted person and an autistic person are not the same people because I've been in a room with gifted people and they act the exact same way as the autistic community does. It's just that what happens is that right around 160 IQ, they get to this weird space Spot where they can no longer really articulate properly um, their th thoughts on something to the general mass and to, to someone sm like not as smart as they are, like me. And I remember looking at them and I would take it so personally when they got so frustrated trying to talk to me and I was just like, God, am I that stupid? And so I built a negative perception about these individuals. And then flash forward to me being gifted and I realized, oh, that's not what's happening. What's happening is that they are literally getting stressed out with themselves because they can't convey this basic principle and, and it just makes them crazy. And so 
there in life is a perfect example of perception being misleading and uh, jumping to the wrong conclusions. And the need for it is so dire because, you know, when it comes to special needs communities, specifically also the autistic community, um, we are finding that that they are looked down upon and that they are um, looked at almost like that they're bleeding the system, that they, why are they here type of thing and it's such a bad thing. Look, this, in my humble opinion, is God's evolution of brilliance. These are beings that are so specialized and so gifted in one or two specific areas that they will lead the revolution in that market. And that's that's basically all it is. All we have to do as the smarter of the of the beings is to find the code that accesses the way that they communicate more effectively. And and if we can do that and we fund our money towards that research instead of worrying about whether it came from mercury or whether it came from polio vaccines or whatever it is, we can get to that later. But right now we have a huge number of, of, of people being born with autism. And we, although we definitely need to know where it comes from to, in order to kind of prevent it, it's not going to happen necessarily now. But what we can do is make the quality of life for the people that are already here, the 1% of the entire world population, the 1 in 49 boys that are born with it, um, versus, they're four times more likely than girls to be born with it. And all of these stats are not getting any better. They're actually increasing ex like just insanely. And so the faster we get on the ball with this, the better our chances are going to be in making their life better. And at the end of the day, that's what I'm all about. Altruistic Channel's mission is now and will forever be ensuring that every voice on this planet is heard. Which brings me to my third audience. So it's gifted, the, aus the autistic community, and then last but not least, it's also the um, special needs community that is dealing with uh, depression or the thoughts of suicide. I don't know if you know this, but a connecting factor with the gifted uh, students is that they have a higher rate of suicide than their cohorts because of the fact that they deal with uh, logical questions of life at the tender age of like 11 and 12, while everybody else is still playing with Barbie or puberty is just offsetting uh, and uh, just starting. And so they're, they're worried about like a, if there's a purpose in life and if there's a meaning to it. And I, I mean, I remember specifically for me, I, like I was at 11 and I was like, so this is all pointless. I have no... Con and so that type of mentality leads to some things, you know. And then when it comes to education, understand that for me, I was a, I was a leader from the time I started, but I was lost leader. I was like, a, uh, I would stumble into things and not do things properly and get myself into a lot of trouble. And that's how I ended up in a cult and I ended up like all, the, all this stuff that didn't need to happen. And part of it's the education. Do you know that of the population that drops out of school, 44% of them have passing grades. They were just bored. Bored. That's it. So unless we do something, we're going to be in a big heap of trouble in a minute here. You know, the baby boomers are exiting the market. Um, the exennials are taking over. And we are, uh, two, two emotions come with the exennials like me. It is what it is. Mm. Not, don't, nothing I can do about it or batshit fucking crazy I mean like just psychotic and so it leaves a lot to be desired in leadership standards and then the ones that follow us are the millennials and I know that everybody gives them a bad rap but millennials are brilliant kids they just have been watching uh, uh, the older brothers and sisters and their parents um, and kind of analyzing life and going why the hell would I leave my house now and accrue all that debt and be miserable like my parents like I'm not going to do that or they're also their other way of looking at it is why am I going to get married I mean when I get married it's going to be for forever it's not going to be for this temporary shit that my parents did and so they're looking at it from the right perspective but maybe just not with the substance of why we raise them that way they don't understand why Uncle Ted is capable of murder and he's gay. Like They don't understand what happened to Matthew Shepard. They don't know what happened during Columbine, necessarily. They, they remember flashes of it, but they were so young that they don't really understand the tone of it. And, you know. and so things like that, we need to bridge the gap. And that comes back on us. But at the end of the day, they are so disenfranchised with the way that we do business that they have no interest whatsoever in joining us to offset the cost of the baby boomers. So you have these three major demographics that are doing not working together at all and um you know it doesn't help that the the, the baby boomers the hypocritical generation if you will uh, is looking down their nose at the other two generations and then exennials if you're like me i'm just like i'm not doing a fucking thing you told me to do like you fucking you know like and it's just not conducive to a working relationship so 
what I wanted to do was take the training idea and kind of train the collective conscious, if you will, to the idea that we can change the way that we look at the world because it's that's what sets limits to what we can accomplish is the way that we relate to the world because of our understanding of self and understanding of other people. And so by doing this, I felt like it would create a lot of empathy. And as empathy grew, it would help the collective conscious in moving towards a collective stance on major problems like global warming or, or you know, like major things that need to be addressed. Poverty, people not eating, the, the child sex traffic it needs to stop. Like these are things that need to happen now, you know, and it's not lost on brainiacs like me that look at the situation with the, the, the top percent of the population. So there's this big thing going on with uh, Donald Trump and everybody's all up in arms and I just find it kind of comical. Because we know for ourselves that we are a narcissistic society, especially on the American side. And I'm very proud to be American, but I'm a little bit narcissistic. It's all about me. And I'm very self-conscious of like what I, uh, how I appear to other people. And so I started to think about the fact that we all know that there is an upper echelon to society that runs the government, right? Like we all, it's just an assumption, even if it's true or not true, we just assume that that's a possibility. And we know that they are representative of us, major, right? Like they, they always do things that will make them look in their best interest. And so I started to wonder why the hell would they allow that guy to make an ass of our entire country? And it finally dawned on me. It's like the parent syndrome. What if they are having to choose between two beds? I mean, I, my personal belief is something is going on in the background that's, that's going to change things forever. Um, but they can't necessarily address it because then, you know, all the people who are asleep, if you will, and unaware of the matrix will freak the hell out and bad decisions will be made and all hell will break loose. So I understand the concept of it, but... With stuff like that, it's not the most important thing in the world, girl. Like, if he's tweeting, let him fucking tweet. If he's tweeting, he's not working. Good. Good. Keep. Go. Go, monkey. You tweet. 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 That's what I'm trying to say. So we need to start engaging the world in a bigger, better way and stop blaming everybody else for our mistakes because at the end of the day, we are creating our path. And so I wanted to do something kind of that was global. And I wanted to work with different markets and different and different uh, governments and, and basically just train you in understanding. There, for the, for the grace of God, go I. No one is better than anyone else on this planet. The only thing I know for sure is that when it comes down to it, God doesn't make mistakes and that every single being on this planet is here for a reason. I believe that, aut that autistic community and the gifted need to work together um, and start developing some of these these uh, solutions that we need for the global market and for the pro for the planet, and we need to engage each other in a much better and more appropriate manner of of, of, of engagement. You know, uh, let's communicate a little bit better. Why is it the way that we do things the way that we do them, and explain it in great detail. And then, if that generation still doesn't want to deal with it, the millennials, then so be it. But let's give everybody the opportunity to rise up and to be represented. And that's basically what altruistic channels want, what I wanted to do. So the hybrid model will kind of work out like this. As it deploys, it was supposed to be, well, I'm saying supposed to be because there's a hurricane. And so who knows what's gonna happen now. I'm a little worried, but um, it should be a fight. But I wanted to get out what my, my mission was. And so the first launch would be the training and kind of engaging it and setting everybody up to understand what the perception process does and why it's subjective and what, what uh, we can do to, be, to make it better. Because I hate to break it to you, but as a corporate level, I can train you with this, perce with this perception uh, session on how to be more strategic. And I can actually train you on how to do a lot of things that you're outsourcing. And I can save you a lot of money. I mean, I, it's a gift, but I can do it. Um, so there is there is a, a large marketability here. So that would be the first year that launches. And then the second year, we would start putting together the funding that would go for the research for autism and for, for uh, continued education for the, for the gifted program and uh, prevention, uh, suicide prevention as well. And then uh, and then finally, uh, it would be funded eventually towards uh, a nonprofit organization, the co-creators and uh, the co-creators uh, charity. And that would take care of a, of a year long funding and it would self run and I would be in charge of that because that's my baby um, and then eventually later down the road that charity would need um, w in conjunction with the altruistic channel original launch that we're doing now we need the materials taken care of so then we would produce a, 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 a media house if you will they would deal with video publications and so forth and those three entities would be what constitutes altruistic channels that's why it's an s 
And so that was the original concept, but the end result was always going to be the same thing. So five years down the road, the mission was going to be to build the school. So because of the fact that I do recognize the wonderful brilliance to the autistic community, and obviously as a gifted person, I understand the perils that, kind of, that, that, that they are going to go through. And they're the first. They're always the first to do something. Like They're the first to lose their virginity. Why? Because they just want to know what that's like. It has nothing to do with what you said. And so when you raise your kids, it's kind of like, oh, my God, this one's going to be a pain in the ass. And I was. Um, so I understand that, that, that dynamic. And so those two, I went to do an academy, a co-creator academy, which specializes in all of the intelligences. I hate to break it, but there's more than one. There's more than IQ out there. There's spatial intelligence. There's infrastructure. Like, there's so many things. And I just think that we start need to start engaging it because whatever the global problems are of the future are going to be in a lot, uh, a much higher state of consciousness. And so I think that we need to start engaging that because those people, those two specific demographics are going to be very key in developing how we deal with stuff that comes up in the future. Because if we were capable of doing it, then we wouldn't still be arguing over whether Donald Trump should be that color. Um, Orange is not necessarily flattering for anybody, but I, I've seen to do well with it sometimes, and people think I'm Italian, so I'm, I'm good with it. But the moral story is like, let's get a little bit of sense of humor, let's start working on some real topics, and that's what Altruistic Channel was going to do, or is going to do. I mean, I'm not out of the, I'm not going anywhere, but just in case, <laughs> just in case. Uh, that's basically what Altruistic Hybrid was going to be. So it, it's going to be four different entities all working as one to help us make sure that every human being's life means something. Because if it took all of God and all of karmic energy to create us, then the least we can do is understand that we are not here by mistake. There are no such thing as mistake beings. Everyone here has a purpose. And the way that we know that is because no two brains anywhere operate the same way. Which means that somewhere, at some time, you or someone you know that you think is irrelevant will answer one question for someone else on the globe that no one else could have answered because of the fact that they were built to answer that question. Their experience garnered is all about leveling that playing field and helping you understand whatever the question was. So everyone here has a purpose and I'm guaranteeing the fact that Altruistic Channel is going to be dedicated to doing that. And that's basically what I'm trying to do. So uh, let me get back to the uh, hurricane coming, and um, I'll post a couple of little things. But that's the main one I wanted to get out there. This is Al for Altruistic Channel, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, uh, um, love every, love your family, love your friends. You never know when it, it might end. But more to the point is don't ever judge anybody else based on how they appear. Um, FYI, most, I think I already said this, but 44% of the autistic community um, are at, at the level um, intellect or higher. So, you know, there's no way that you can't understand what it would be like to be absolutely brilliant at something or have the answer to something specific that you, that you know that your parents or that your loved ones really want an answer to with dealing with life, but not be able to communicate. And that no one's trying to find a better path for communication, but trying to make you learn their communication. It doesn't work. We need to learn their code. Anyway, that's it for Al on Altruistic Channel. You guys have a wonderful day and wish me luck. Hurricane to come in. Uh, that's it. Uh, have you made a mistake today?